Emily Jane and uh, I'm here to do another YouTube video with the lovely Elizabeth from Rosa Lilium who's joined me to have a chat about some stuff. Um, you can see our other videos together either by looking and subscribing to my channel, which I'll put a link sort of down here, or to Elizabeth's channel, which let's put up here. There we go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this video um, I thought it be interesting to chat a little bit about body confidence because it's something I'm very passionate about and um, a lot of my blog focuses and my styling work focuses on helping people to feel you know really confident and fantastic in their own skin Yay. so I thought we'd just go through a little a few little questions and um, have a little chat so okay. first one I've put here is when have you felt at your most body confident body confident mm. Gosh, you know what? I don't think I've ever been asked that question oh. before. I don't think I've even thought about that before. I think when I was, uh, around the time that I was doing a lot of dancing, uh, around when I was at college, college age, I mean, obviously I was a lot younger then, but I was very active and I was dancing and I was doing theatre and singing. And I think I, I had a real awareness about my body. Yeah. So it wasn't just that I was, you know, slimmer then. I was fitter and yeah. just very aware of my body and I think I just felt comfortable in my own skin mm. then. I guess the other time I probably remember feeling confident in my skin was travelling. Yeah. I think because when you're travelling and I was on my own, I was travelling solo and I I just felt kind of, it sounds really cheesy, I kind of felt at one with myself. <laughs> <laughs> but I did, I felt really yeah. chilled and happy with, with the way I was and without any pressure. It felt like I had no pressure. I think when you remove yourself from society, yeah, you lose that pressure and I felt I felt yeah. fine. Cool. Yeah. I mean I think I've said it before on my blog that mm. I definitely feel like now the most confident with my yeah. my body and have done for the po sort of the past sort of three or four years really since I sort of you know was sort of styled myself and then um, got into the sort of styling thing. I think it's really interesting that you know, you were saying it's not necessarily when you're at your most slim, and for me, I'm certainly not on my most slim now. But yeah. that it really has not actually a lot to do with that, and no. it is more about yeah, an awareness of your of your body and kind of you're saying it's when you're dancing. And I do actually, I run a bit now, and yeah. I probably exercise more now than when I've been thinner. If yeah. that makes any sense. Yeah. And just having a bit of an appreciation for your body. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, what are your favourite? bit what do you like what are your favorite features of your body what do you like to to show off when you're dressing and putting together an outfit Ooh, um i think my pins your pins you got some good there's one oh, oh. flexible <laughs> you can't really see them no the video. not right now they're good legs go she's got good pins she's got good pins um yeah i don't i i've always appreciated the shape of me pins yeah um, so I've, I prefer to wear dresses and skirts anyway because I think they're mm -hmm. more flattering um, they suit my body shape and I enjoy getting them out yeah. I guess so yeah cool my gigs. yeah I think for me it's my waist cool I really like my waist because I do go I do go in so I always try and show that off mm -hmm. um, and just sort of like my, my curves generally I do really like being a curvy lady and, cool. and showing that off and not sort of you know as I call it tenting Yes. No, need to, no, no need, need to tent. No need, no to, need tent. to tent. What helps you to feel amazing? It really gives you a boost. Mm. Makes you feel really confident. Let's see, what makes me feel amazing? Um, <laughs> having a good hair day. Yeah, everyone loves a good hair yeah. day. I, I think I'm very much a hair person. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. I'm a hair person. <laughs> um, if my hair is bad or short, like when it's being cut off short by yeah. hair, overzealous hairdressers, I feel very um, self-conscious. Yeah. Whenever I've had short hair, it doesn't feel right. So I think having my hair feel nice yeah. makes me feel nice. This that sounds yeah. so shallow. <laughs> no, it's not at all. It's not shallow at all. Like yeah. I totally get that. Yeah. yeah. I think if you are a hair, it's like. Yeah, I, t I know what you mean about like the having, I've always had quite long hair and yeah. it was like when I had all mine cut off last year, it was a really big thing for me yeah. like, and it really wasn't that short. No, <laughs> so, I looked, I looked at a photo yeah. that I got chopped off a year ago, yeah. almost exactly a year ago and it, at the time I felt like I'd yeah. gone from waist length to up here, yeah. it was a good seven, eight inches and I felt like I had the shortest hair in the world, I was just yeah. so self-conscious but I look at photos now, yeah. oh it was probably still classed as long hair. 
it's just not as long as it is now. <laughs> it's all about the good hair day for you. Yes. Good hair, good day. Yes, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. I think for me, it's colour. Okay. Totally. Like, if I'm happy, if I'm feeling a bit miserable. Yeah. I think lipstick, actually, if I wanted to yeah. define it down to one thing. That's true. That if I am if I get up and, like, you know, you have those mornings where you're just so tired yeah. and the alarm clock goes yeah. off and you just want to kill somebody because you just want to <laughs> stay in bed, tucked up in the warm. That's how I feel most <laughs> What do you do to treat and look after your body? Mm. Um, I probably should treat it a bit better. <laughs> yes, you should. If you're thinking that, then yes, you should. You're Elizabeth. bringing this one up. I'm like, I need to be a bit nicer. Do we need to like put you on a couch for this YouTube video? Yeah, and just so like, tell me about your, your yeah. Um, <laughs> I think my I, I know. I think we need therapy session between yeah. me and my body because okay. I'm, I'm sure my body would say, hey. You need to take better care of yeah. you. The best thing that I do for my body, I drink a lot of water. Yeah. Water That's is something really good to do for your body. That I makes me feel that. good. Because I, 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 I can feel it when I'm dehydrated because I've always drank water. So if I don't get my two litres a day, yeah. I'll feel it. I'll get grumpy mm. about it. So I always drink a lot of water and I think that's what's kept me yeah. healthy. Yeah. Water is key. Cool. I've been, this year so far, as we've entered 2014, I've been really concentrating on my skincare oh, a lot that's more. Because I don't have great skin. Mm. Um, no, that's why I shouldn't say I don't have great skin. Sometimes I have blemish prone skin. I have right. lovely skin. I have skin fabulous skin. skin that I'm looking after, but it, it is quite blemish prone. Right. Um, so I've invested in some new beauty products. That's a good idea. And I've been really, because I can be a bit lazy sometimes. Like I'm pretty good at taking my makeup off, mm. but there'll always be that odd night where I'd just be a bit tired. And Do you just, know what? I went Whenever that happens to me now, I used to be terrible. Yeah. I was notorious for leaving my makeup on. Now, if I go to bed with my makeup on, I have Caroline Hyrule. I know that's exactly voice in, in my, my head. head. Caroline Hyrule. Caroline's gonna wash your face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I can't so do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. So I'm trying very hard, and I am. I have been taking it off every night, and I've been using lovely oils and things. Oh. And I think just generally because it feels a little bit more luxurious, it feels like a bit more of a treat. Yeah. Um, then, then that's really nice. I've been doing that. I've been trying to exercise a little bit more. And, um, I do eat a lot of veg anyway. Yeah. So those are our thoughts on um, how we kind of feel about our body image and being positive about it, loving ourselves. Um, so it'd be really cool to hear if you have any thoughts on that, sort of what you do to kind of give yourself a boost on a bad day, how you feel better about your body and increase your body confidence. So let us know in the comments down there, typey typey. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel which you find here oh. um, and also you can go and see the other videos that i've done with elizabeth over on her rose lilium channel yeah bye <laughs> oh, i was to see now when i look at you you have a fringe yes this is very important so shimmy so my posture i was like well, i don't want to sit up because then i look just like a giant <laughs> <laughs> These are, these are really in-depth questions. You're making me gritty. Hey. Mm. It's, this is your video. It is my video. I need to get some veg in my life. The tomato earlier? No, I didn't. Did you not eat the no, tomato? No, I gave it to the boyfriend. Oh, okay. Yeah, you should definitely eat more veg. <laughs>